creative world welcome back to the vlog today we are checking in on the progress of the gut renovation project we designed a couple months ago and as you can see it looks very different from the last time we saw so far the exterior has been wrapped all the windows have been installed and today they're starting the installation of the siding so let's take a stroll and see what's been updated last time we were here the entire house was exposed the sheathing was out and as you can see today the entire thing is enclosed when you're putting together the exterior of a house it contains a couple things. The first thing is a layer of sheathing, which is basically the plywood that goes on the outside. On top of that, you put a plastic vapor barrier, and over that, you put this, which is a rigid insulation, and that's what we have here today. You can always tell because you got the Pink Panther right there. And once the rigid installation is on, you can add the siding. Typically, for the exterior of a house, you have a couple options. You can use vinyl siding, you can use natural wood siding like cedar or something of that kind, or you can use more of a synthetic material like this, which is hardy board. And hardy board is essentially like a fiber cement material that is pretty awesome because vinyl is cheap and it can warp and it doesn't last that long. The advantage is that it's cost effective, so it's not that expensive. Hardy board is a little bit more expensive but because it's a composite fiber cement material, it's incredible because it's fire resistant, it's weatherproof, it's termite resistant. So it's really gonna outlast the more natural products or the vinyl products. The other cool thing about this hardy plank is that it comes finished. Once it's installed, you don't have any maintenance. You don't have to paint it, you don't have to resurface, you don't have to do anything. Check it out, we're at the top right now where they're installing the siding. And this is what it looks like. So they're leaving this gap because this is where the trim is gonna go. And some of the trim is going to overlap the siding. Another detail that's small but will go a long way overall with the aesthetic of the house is the extended overhang at the top of the roof. Before, there was no overhang on the gable side of the house, which made it look kind of flat and very traditional. But with this design, we we're able to extend it about a foot, which is going to give us a little bit more definition, making the shape of the house look a little bit nicer and a little bit more modern. And the chimney was torn off. That's right, they took down the chimney. Now the chimney wasn't anything structural or made out of stone. It was just a cap that goes around the flue, so it could be torn off. But now, instead of it being siding like it was before, we're gonna do it with either a stone veneer or a brick veneer. So in order to hold up the stone veneer, we poured a footing that is holding up a post and the lintel. So essentially, we're gonna reframe the chimney on top of this, and then the stone veneer can sit on top of that. The inside is looking kind of the same, with the exception of last time we were here, this hallway was not fully framed out. Once you come in the front door, we'll land in the foyer and we'll have a small closet right here that will go towards the dining room. And this hallway is where the powder room is gonna be. So this is really the only new thing here, with the exception of the windows. For this project, the client chose the Anderson 400 series, which is a really nice product because one, it's budget friendly and you still get a wood interior finish with a clad exterior. So overall, it's a nice product. Most of the windows are all double hung except for the kitchen windows, which are crank out casements. Check that out. Let's crank this baby. Uh, it works. Last time, I told you we were gonna put a window in the basement, didn't I? We did it! This is a 12 inch concrete wall and they just sawed right through it just so we can have a nice window. Basically, this is just a giant concrete hole that allows us to get extra light into the basement. And like I mentioned before, this is a full egress size window, which means that in the case of an emergency, someone can escape through that window, which allows the space in this room to actually be a bedroom, which allows them to have more bedrooms in the house, increasing the property value. And let's be honest, with this window well alone, this room is pretty well lit. I mean, we have that light too. But even if we didn't, this would be a really well lit room with just that window. Man, this project is coming together and it's looking so cool. Look at that. 
The finish is looking awesome. I think the gray and the white was a great choice on their part. It's gonna look a little bit modern. It's not gonna look as traditional. So I'm super excited to see this whole thing come around. I just spoke with Mike. We walked around the house. We're talking about a couple little details that we still have to finish. On our list right now is finishing the siding, which he thinks will be done by the end of the week. And once the siding is done, we can build the roof overhang that's gonna go over the garage. I was just talking to Mike about it, trying to figure out how we're gonna detail it. And basically it's just going to be a roof held up by a wood bracket. So what I have to do now between now and next week is actually design and draw the detail of what the bracket is gonna look like. So I basically have to give them the dimensions and the instructions so that they can build the brackets for the roof. All right, creative world, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Typically a designer like myself will sit in an office and not get a lot of time to go and see their projects out in the field. And that's unfortunate because we spend so much time creating architecture or creating design that other people appreciate and oftentimes we don't get to appreciate it ourselves so that's why i'm so excited to actually be able to go see the progress and talk through ideas with the client and i hope that you're enjoying the content i have a couple things up my sleeve i have another interior renovation project that i'm going to be sharing very very soon we're just waiting on a permit and i'm currently designing a really big project at work that will also go into construction this summer so i'm super excited for that one that one's gonna be my baby so this is all practice for that i just want to be able to to share my journey with the creative world and the youtube world honestly just to keep myself inspired just to see the progression of my work and being able to see these visions come to life so if you're enjoying it if you want to be a part of it Make sure you subscribe so you get notifications every time that I upload a new video. Make sure you hit that like button. If you have any thoughts, if you like the way these projects are going, leave some feedback in the comments. You know, help me put together some good content for you all to enjoy. I can't wait for next time. Thank you so much if you stuck around to this end of the video. And until next time, never stop creating.